Hello guys, it's Johnny Time and welcome to another DeFi tutorial. After watching this video, you will never need to use any bridge again, any router again, any aggregator again, because today I'm going to show you the ultimate tool all in one for liquidity management for cross chain swaps to get the best rates in every chain to pay the smallest amount of fees and obviously we are also talking about speed it's gonna be blazing fast so i'm super excited to show you this tool and show you how to use it and level up your DeFi game significantly so without further ado let's get started <laughs> Well, if you're a DeFi user and DGEN, I'm sure you had this problem where you want to move your funds, your money, your liquidity between different chains and you always have the hustle of searching for liquidity, searching a bridge which you can trust, which the fees are low. And also anytime you bridge funds, you have to pray that the funds will arrive in the other side, uh, unless it's a bridge that you know. And sometimes you go to a bridge that you know, but you don't have the liquidity on the source or destination chain in the token that you need. And I know it's a huge, huge hustle. Also, sometimes you get stuck with tokens that you cannot sell because you go to a DEX like Uniswap, you try to sell them and you don't have liquidity, so the slippage, the price difference is insane, and you lose so much money on this swap. Well, after watching this video, you won't have this problem anymore because I'm gonna show you a great extension that's gonna work together with your Web3 wallet, such as MetaMask, Phantom, or any other wallet, and this is, for me, the ultimate DeFi extensions since I discovered it and installed it, just my DeFi experience became so much smoother. So the extension name is Caddy and Caddy is for me a DeFi Swiss army knife. This is my tool for everything in DeFi and I will explain why. So what is actually Caddy? Caddy is an extension that you install in your browser and then it integrates with all the DeFi websites that you like. For instance, you can see that right now I'm in BeFi Finance, an awesome yield aggregator and optimizer which I love, which I use and I prepared other video tutorials in this channel about this tool. And here you can see on the light, right, once you install this extension, it's a Chrome extension, Brave extension, and once you install it, you have this kind of small cool icon on the right of the page. So it integrates into Uniswap, OneInch, all basically the DeFi website that you are used to, you will see this new kind of cool icon on the side. And here you have three different uh, things. And what we're going to focus in right now is the bridge and the swap. So you can look at Kali as all-in-one extension tool platform for bridge aggregation, swap aggregation, cross-swap aggregation. This is the tool that you can use anytime when you want to move liquidity, either sell or buy token, or maybe move it from one chain to another, just right from your browser without visiting any external website. And when I say aggregator, it aggregates so many DEXs, so many bridges, so many chains, which means that almost every chain that you want to go to and move your liquidity to on any token, you will get the best rates, the smallest amount of fees, and it's going to be super quick and fast. I actually think that the best way to show the power of this tool and explain something is by an example. So if you can see here my portfolio on BFI Finance, you can see that currently I have around $28,000 uh, deposited, which generates for me $500 yield, which is accordingly $17 a day, 25% APY. And I'm using actually only stablecoin strategies. So I have here two strategies. One is dollar USDC on base chain that generates 24% APY for me. And we also have in Optimism, USDC dollar in Velodrome. So Elodrome and Velodrome, they give very good yields. It's more than 20% a year on stable coins, which I'm pretty happy with because where else would you get such returns on dollars? But what if there is a better strategy on a different chain and you want basically to move your money, move your strategy, move the liquidity from one chain to another. Well, let's go to the vaults of BFI and try to filter here stable coins and see what kind of strategies we have maybe to get even a better yield on our dollars. And when you scroll down a bit, you see different strategies on different 
chains. And a new strategy that just grabbed my attention is this one, EUSD and Curve USD on Curve Finance on Arbitrum, which generates 74% APY on your dollars. It's like 6% or maybe 7% a month on US dollars, which is literally insane. You know, the bank doesn't even give you these turn returns during an year. So now I want to utilize this strategy. I want to move my funds from my, let's say, base strategy over here that generates only 24% a year. I want to withdraw the money and then bridge my funds, my dollars to Arbitrum and utilize the new strategy. Now, the old way would be is to withdraw the money from B5 Finance, then try to find a bridge from base to Arbitrum and check if it's trustworthy, check how much time I'm going to receive the money, what are the fees, you know, there are so many cases where just my money got lost because I used bridges or I just got a user's token with zero liquidity and I had to bridge it back and pay so much money on fees. Now, I'm going to show you now the new way using Caddy. So first step, I'm just going to withdraw my position. I'm just going to use here the BFI interface to withdraw my position all to USDC. So let's withdraw all the position. So I have around $20,000 over here. So I'm switching to the base chain uh, from Optimism because this strategy is on base. Sending the transaction to exit the strategy and get my liquidity as USDC. Successfully zapped out from the vault and now my wallet should have around 20,000 USDC. Now I want to go back to the vaults page and go back to the strategy just to uh, see how it looks like. And we can see that this strategy is on the Arbitrum chain, which means that I need to move my money, my USDC from base to Arbitrum. So instead of just going and searching tediously for bridges, I can just click here on Caddy, the bridge aggregator, and this is so clean and beautiful. From chain base, let's select the token. It already fetches all your tokens. So if you filter here base and click USDC, you can already see the money. You can also see the token balance. So it already fetches it. And I can click here max. And this is all the USDC that I just withdrew from the strategy on BFI. And now I can select the destination chain. We want to move the money to Arbitrum because this is where we have the best yield for stable coins right now. So I will select here Arbitrum and Let's see. So we need here EUSD and Curve USD. That's totally fine. We can just bridge this kind of a USDC.E and then we can deposit it. We just need to make sure that we can deposit it here on BFI Finance. So I'm going to go back to BFI, click here deposit and select here USDC. And I can see that I can just select this USDCE and deposit it directly to the strategy and actually I'm going to get even more money upon deposit because UTCE worth a bit more when it comes to entering this strategy. So this is perfect. I'm going to go back to the bridge. It remembers everything. And now this is the best part, guys. So you can see that in order to bridge USDC from base to Arbitrum, I'm going to get almost the same amount of money. I'm only going to pay like 10 or 20 cents fee for the whole bridge to happen. And this is incredible. Now, how can we get the best price? Because you can see it over here. We have aggregation of so many bridges. We have Circle CCTP across Stargate, Symbiosis, All Bridge. Hop, and they're going to add even more bridges in the future. So you can see here that they are sorted by the best amount of value that you're going to get on the destination chain. So you don't even have to explore different bridges to check the fees, the trustworthiness of them. This is actually the main official bridge of USDC. You might not even know about this bridge, but if you use Caddy, you will discover this bridge and it, you don't even need to deal with this UX because you have everything in BFI, right? It's integrated in any DeFi website that you use because it's an extension. This is beautiful because it shows us that in Circle CCTP, we will pay only just 12 cents as fee. If we go to across, it will be slightly more exper expensive. We pay $3.00. Target is very expensive. I don't want to use Target. So you can just select which bridge you want to see which value you get the most. And that's beautiful. So obviously, I'm going to choose Circle CCTP because I'm going to pay a very small amount of fees. There is only one disadvantage that it's like going to take 22 minutes. So you have also the approximate time that it's going to arrive and the destination chains and also the amount of transactions that you need to send. Well, I'm actually impatient because I want to finish recording this video and show you the whole process. So I'm willing to pay this $3 fees in transaction fees for 
speed. I want to get my money faster, so I'm just gonna use here a cross bridge instead of circle CCTP. I'm totally fine with paying this extra three dollars, and I will get. 20k 102 instead of 20k 105 is circle cctp so let's pick here cross and click here bridge now and you can see that it shows you all the process and triggers your metamask wallet to send the transaction so the first transaction is to approve the bridge to spend our tokens by the way it just works with smart contracts of the bridges of the official bridges so you don't have any risk of intermediary smart contracts of caddy it just basically connects you directly to the smart contracts of the bridges so this is what we are doing we are just approving the bridge a contract to spend our tokens this is the first transaction the approval we chose the cross bridge from base to arbitrum and we have to wait that the first transaction will be accepted and it was mined now this is the second transaction the ux is actually beautiful you show it shows you every single step in a generic way in a simple to understand way and this is the second transaction actually to actually uh, send the funds to the bridge and trigger the bridge transfer operation so i'm going to click here confirm now it's going to take approximately one minute because this is what we saw in a cross it's pretty fast bridge and then we'll have to receive the money from the bridge on the second side complete all the process and we will magically have the money in the arbitrum chain so let's see great so the money was transferred to the other chain now i need to approve this uh, first transaction i'm going to click here to confirm the transaction and that's basically it guys the bridge process was completed you can see that right away it took like one or two minutes and i got almost the same amount of money in arbitrum only three dollars for fees and if i would be more patient and i would willing to wait 20 minutes then it would be probably 10 or 20 cents which is beautiful so now you can see the power of caddy and now i'm gonna make my dollars work even better for me and i'm gonna get around six seven percent a month on my us dollars so don't wait head over to the link in the description install caddy level up your DeFi game make it much more easier smoother convenient and maybe even win some extra money right and now we have to complete the process to make sure that my dollars are working for me so here i'm on this strategy on arbitrum chain and i want to enjoy this juicy beautiful yield so i'm gonna hit click here deposit and deposit all my usdc into the strategy 100 percent around 20k i'm going to reduce here the slippage to make sure i get the least the most amount of value and click here deposit all deposit the funds into b5 finance confirm this transaction and the money will be deposited and start working from this point so for me this is the best feature ever because i was always struggling with bridges and from now on i'm not going to use any bridges anymore i'm just going to use caddy but just so you know you can also have in the chain swaps and it aggregates so much liquidity of so many tokens so if i want to buy i don't know like a meme coin or something like dogecoin for instance i just want to buy some dogecoin on arbitrum i can just get the best price the lowest amount of fees you can see here the aggregation so i can get it from enso from oex from one inch from sushi swap and it gives me the best prices so not only that it basically allows you to bridge and use bridge aggregation also when you want to swap tokens it just finds the best prices for you better even than one inch because it aggregates multiple aggregators it's the aggregator of aggregators in your browser in every website as swiss army knife tool and the last cool feature is also the chats so you can click this button over here and then in every website that you visit you have this kind of live chat so if you're on b5 finance you can talk with other people that are using caddy and right now in b5 finance maybe you can discuss different strategies just hang out meet people and this is very cool feature by the way and you can see here that i sent a message uh, gmgm GM, what else are you guys harvesting let's see who will be the next one that will install caddy send here some messages in the chat so let's talk here in the chat in caddy in bifa and let's discuss the best yields how we can make our money works for us the best so head over to the link in the description below start using caddy leveling up your DeFi game i hope you guys enjoy this video and learn something new and level up your DeFi game if you did please do not forget to smash this like button and subscribe to the channel for more awesome content that i will publish in the future and if you have any questions feel free to ask them in the comments section below looking forward to see you here in the chat in b5 finance and i will see you in the next tutorial bye bye